I just knew like, bruh. Then I heard, I, I when I heard Lil Wayne's story, you know they got some shit called behind music. Yeah. When I heard that nigga's story, I'm like, bro, this nigga shit damn near like, this nigga life is just like mine for real. Bro, that's exactly, that's just how I thought as a young nigga. I just always had that mentality that I'm him. When people say fake it till you make it, bro, I used to get the one, the, bro, the cheap ass, cheapest mic you can find online. Put that bitch in the closet, wrap that bitch on the uh on that on a on a hanger bar, whatever. I got hell of them bitches. Yeah, put them on the whole and room. Use the thumbtacks yeah, and put God. them bitches on the wall. Yeah. I was nigga, put on the one head, I thought I was him. <laughs> yeah. But it that gave me the confidence to keep going and like, bro, I, I you know, Instagram wasn't out back then. Niggas oh. had Facebook. Feel me? Yeah. When I posted my first rap video on that bitch and I seen people fucking with it, I'm like, oh yeah, I could. Yeah, I feel good. like anything I put my mind to, I feel like I could have went to the NBA or the NFL, MLB, whatever, mm-hmm. boxer, whatever. Anything I put my mind to, I feel like I could accomplish on that. Yeah, that's the type of confidence. That's really good. That's ge- that's genuinely how I feel from the bottom of my heart. You not that shit you right. On the niggas, bro, this shit gotta be in you, bro. That's why I say I knew I was destined for this shit.